Hey y'all, this week's vlog is going to be very quick because I'm just not feeling it. Today I feel really flat and I feel really disheartened with my training. I'm at the gym, I come every morning, Esme's playing and swinging on the gym equipment while I'm working out. Um, my body's sore, I haven't been able to train for properly for a really long time because I'm just listening to my body and she needs um, some gentle nurturing and love and you know it's just such a big part of my life and I just don't feel like I can do it like I used to and I really don't think I don't know if I ever will be able to and I actually don't know like it's then created that questioning life like do I need to train the way that I used to but I really enjoy it I love the body I love seeing the best out of my body um, and then it just raises so many questions for me like one do I need to be doing this two is it such a strong belief pattern that exercise and, and resistance training is so important strong body strong soul strong spirit um, that strength uh, but there's just there's this this little swirling in my tummy that like maybe I just need a break from it but the athlete in me that other part of my brain is like well what does it mean who are you if you don't do this if if you don't start your day this way every single day what are you going to fill it with and there comes this little voice of fear and uncertainty and not good enough and who am I if I don't do that and then just because it's so well practiced now that then the soul is speaking to me saying you know it's okay to be soft and gentle and nurturing and just as I was working out today I was like I haven't seen much of Gus and I know that he's really feeling that and we had a conversation around that this morning and I thought you know what instead of coming here to the gym every morning and starting my day like that it's a very intentional thing to get me moving and just tune into my body and drop me into my body for the day you know perhaps for the next week or two or however long I feel um, I could Gus and I could go for a coffee or a walk or just spend some quality time together which is the thing in this journey that has really lacked because it's like kids 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 and then it's work 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 and then when I have time by myself Gus is actually away so it's just like that balance and that tightrope walk between um, being there and being present and being with him because I said to him this morning too like you are the constant thing in my life and you love me more than anything and I know that so he's kind of the one that misses out because <laughs> I just know it's always there. I don't have to prove myself to him. I don't have to um, do anything or be anything. Right. He's just there holding that container for me to grow and learn and live and love. So yeah, just started a, just catapulted me into this whole explosion of inquiry and digging a little bit deeper and you know, shifting and changing belief systems. So that's what I'm going through today. Could be different by this afternoon. It probably will be and different again by tomorrow. And even by that you can, by the time I've shared this and got it off my chest and you know done my few minute vlog just verbalizing it um, and letting myself feel it shifts and changes energy so quickly so whatever you're going through just sit in it question it um, lean into it and just dig deep that's what I'm doing and let's go on the journey together all right there's my little Lazy Mae she's down on the battle ropes now and mm, see you all soon. further through the set and something came through so I wanted to share it with you it's just, it's really reflected to me my overachieving and perfection pattern because I was like, man, I still come to the gym most mornings, but because I'm not putting on lean muscle or I'm not kicking goals, I felt like I, it's not good enough. So I was like, man, give yourself a break. Just enjoy the movement. It doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be for anything. And so then it dropped in for me it used to be about being the best version of me and I realized I freaking already am the best version of me now I want to switch and change that word and I have in my language but maybe not in my heart just yet to being the fullest version of me so that doesn't really have a framework the framework for that is to be present in the moment and see what I need and feel what I need in that moment to feel full um, from a really deep soul level not because my body looks a certain way or I feel a certain way on the surface or yeah any of that so that's just my musings and I wanted to share that with you because I think it's really relevant and really important what'd you say Missy she's enjoying this